So <clears throat> for, for you being from China, I was also wondering about that. Like men, you know, we talk about this on your podcast a little bit, like men expressing themselves in more feminine ways, mm -hmm. being more open with that. Like even men, you know, like Jeff and I, we've like, you know, like taken nude photos together for a mm -hmm. calendar. We've mm -hmm. a kiss before. How was that for you, the transition coming from China? Because you were born in China. Mm -hmm. Like how was the transition like going from that environment to Los Angeles where it's like super fluid and queer and, and, um, and open? At the beginning, um, before I know so much <clears throat> about the American culture, I because I've never seen any gay people that's alive in China. Yeah, so fair, I didn't fair, know fair. that's the real <laughs> thing. Yeah. I, I, then I, I was in Kentucky for college. <laughs> Jeff, yeah. And a bunch of like, you know, yeah. closeted cowboys. Yeah, cowboys and yeah. the gay people. And they are just the, wow, some of the kindest people I know. And they are caring, they are kind. There's gay bars. Lexington is the only blue spot in Kentucky, I guess, because mm -hmm. that's where University of Kentucky is. And all of the gay friends, my black friends, they are just amazing. And I realized that that's the beauty of America is diversity. It is the openness to accepting new things. So yeah. I think I, as a teenager, I, I would consider myself an American. I came here, I'm, on si I'm 17, so I learned, uh, I have both culture in me, but uh, I really understand American culture and I value American culture so much. Yeah. So I, I just, uh, even for my son, if he wanna wear nail polish, I'll, I'll, I'll put it on him, for, for him, I, I don't yeah. care. And, but before I came to America, I'll kill him. Okay, okay. I will choke wow. him. Yeah, it's it's yeah. legal. It's, if they are a few years, you can kill them before they are five. It's not like a big deal. Is, is that a fact? Wow. Is that a fact? Before they're five, if yeah, they're a failure? Yeah, it's a toxic mind you want to control. Like, a, like a, I think Angelina Jolie and Brad's daughter, uh, Sh Shiloh. Shiloh was a girl. I mean, she's, she's a girl. And then she decided she's drunk. She dressed mm -hmm. like a little boy. Okay. She, and Jolie just... Uh, Embrace that. She won't be a boy. She wear boys' co clothing. He, John, was a boy, and then she switched this year. She's like, actually, I think I'm a woman. Okay. So, so Shadow is now. I think uh, this year she's like probably like a uh, fifteen. Wow. Okay. Yeah. She's, uh, really? okay. She became a shadow. She's like, I'm mm -hmm. no longer John. I'm a shadow. Okay. And that's the most beautiful thing a parents can do to their children because they are not toxic. They yeah. love who they are. For who they are yeah and that's the best way for them to explore and find it wow. and i want okay. to, to be a parent like that if yeah. my children my son want to wear a nail polish he, he didn't want it. i don't want him to wear it but if he does i'll be like okay which color you force him to wear nail polish put this <laughs> shit on right now uncle mario, school, uncle mario will give you the red color he will buy you the red color yeah facts. uncle mario will never judge you no i, I won't yeah. i won't we love you okay. uh, uncle we mario is gonna teach you the blue steel and the catwalk that's it <laughs> yeah i'm gonna do that, gonna do that. Yeah, yeah so i i think right now i'm just the I, I really, I am really um, open and I, lo I love uh, the queer community and uh, I just feel like, uh, because I'm a mother, so uh, I can lie to you, be like, oh, I love gay people, but when my son is trying to wear a skirt, I beat him up. Yeah, well, but that's, that's I have a children people, now. Like, they, they like the concept and they're open about that. I support, you know, the whole, you know, but trans, yeah. non-binary, queer, whatever it is, right? But then when it comes to my, their to, own son, they're yeah, like, they nah, stop nah, talking nah, to them. Nah, like, they them. Right now, yeah. So many gay kids, they are disowned by their parents. Mm. Yeah. They feel like it's their fault. Yeah. And I, I want my children to just be whatever the fuck they want. <laughs>